Hey, welcome back to Homemade Homestead. My name is Rachel. Today I have a goat haul for you. If you saw yesterday's video, we brought home two mama goats. They're supposed to be both pregnant, so there's some things that I wanted to have on hand before they gave birth and just before they even arrived on our property. So let's get into this haul. All right, since our goats are pregnant, we wanted to have some things on hand for after they gave birth. In case they become a bottle baby, we wanted to have some powdered kid milk and also some colostrum and some goat electrolytes. This is great for when the babies or even the mamas when they have diarrhea or scours is what they call it. This is great to give them some electrolytes. We also have some nipples. These fit onto a regular soda bottle or even an apple cider vinegar bottle. Also after they give birth, I like to have molasses on hand so that we can put this in their water. It gives them some extra nutrients right away. Also some vitamin B. It's got the vitamin B with the thiamine and you can give it to them during birth or weaning, different things like that. It's kind of when, when they have like stress it's pretty good to give them that. So I have that on hand. Also probios. And in case the mamas get mastitis, I picked up some Masti Clear. Also after birth, I have some betadine or iodine on hand to dip their umbilical cords in. A pair of scissors in case you have to trim up their umbilical cord. And also I bought a box, just some latex gloves. I also have one of these to suck out their noses or their mouth after delivery. Some petroleum jelly or Vaseline and a thermometer to check their temperature via their bottom and this will just lubricate the end of that so it goes in a little easier. And also lubrication with the gloves in case you have to get into the mama and check the baby. Also, I got some goat Nutri Drench. This stuff is pretty amazing if the babies or the mama just is looking kind of down. This gives them some good nutrients. It's just some really good nutrients for goats. I also got some copper bolus. These ones are two grams, but um, for the adults, Copy I give them um, two of these to make it four grams just because Copy of their weight. Um, you can tell if your goat is getting copper deficient by their, their coat, if it's starting to look coppery, and also their tail will look like a fish tail. It'll kind of split at the end, and we were noticing that in our goats, and so we bought some copper bolus and actually a copper bolus gun, and so that just fits right into the end, and you put it in their mouth and it kind of just goes in. So I got some blood stop because we are going to trim their hooves and in case we cut them, it's good to have the powder on hand. And that is one thing that I'm missing. It's on our Amazon order, but it's not here yet, is the, the shears, the, the hoof shears that you use to trim them. A weight tape, this just goes around your animal to see how much they weigh. It's easier to give them medication if you know exactly how much they weigh, and so this is pretty accurate. Then I just have some syringes on hand and also some needles. I've got 18 gauge and 20 gauge for if we have to give them a shot or just a drench or something. I also do have a drenching gun to give them in case we need to do that. I'm also missing my CDNT. They were just vaccinated two months ago, so I didn't need to have that on hand right now. I just give that to them once a year. I also have Corid in case the babies get coccidiosis. I have a couple different dewormers. I have ivermectin, which the previous owner was using on them um, three times a year. They do it every four months. So I'll read about that and see if that's what I want to continue with. I also got Safeguard Paramycin. This is good for scours. If your goat has scours, there's usually an underlying reason for it, but this will help stop it for now until you can like get them to the vet or get them figured out what the actual root of the problem is. I did grab a bottle of bloat treatment in case they experience that and some LA 200, which is just an overall good antibiotic. It'll help with pneumonia or pink eye if they get that. Let's take you outside and show you what else I bought before they got here. I bought two bags of alfalfa pellets that we want to switch these goats over to, but it's important to ask the previous owner who you bought your goats from to see what they have been feeding them because goats are ruminants. 
and it is really bad for them. It's bad for their gut health if you just switch their feed really quickly. So we are feeding them what the previous owner fed them until we can switch them over to something that we would like to feed them, which eventually is alfalfa pellet. I bought a 50 pound bag of barley and I also bought a 50 pound bag of flaked corn or sometimes they call it rolled corn. This is because this is what the previous owner was feeding them. And I want to slowly get away from the corn and move to the alfalfa pellets that I showed you just a second ago. So I'm going to slowly, very slowly incorporate the alfalfa until I can get away from this grain. But they are both pregnant, so we do want to keep them with some grain. I will probably keep them on the barley because that does help them with their protein that they need. I also bought four bales of alfalfa hay. This is really good hay. It's very green, which you want doesn't have weeds in it so I had this on hand goats primary diet is gonna be hay so that's why it's important to have some good quality hay so they'll eat the hay along with some grain and then I also bought some minerals minerals are really important for goats to have I bought this goat balancer this is from tractor supply you mix this in with their grain and you just give them some. It has a lot of minerals in it. I also bought them Redmond Goat Minerals. This is a really good mineral to have as well. Also something nice to have is a brush. When they're in this tension, I like to brush them down. Hi, Millie. Also a way to give them some water. We just use this bucket from a local bakery but a water trough, it doesn't have to be super fancy, but they need to have fresh, clean water every day. Hi, Coco. They're munching on some of their hay. You guys happy? All right, that'll do it for today, you guys. I hope this gave you some ideas of what you should have on hand if you're bringing goats home, or if you already have goats, maybe something that you need to pick up at Tractor Supply or IFA. <laughs> just to have on hand because these goats are pregnant and we wanted to make sure that we had the supplies that we need to take care of them and their babies. Subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's video. It's quite exciting and we'll talk to you guys again real soon. Bye-bye now.